I got a big dog here. This one here sits around about halfway to three quarters away in depth, so about six meters and eight meters of water, something like that. If it's a bright day, I usually go deeper. If it's a um, like a day like today, it's overcast, which is perfect for squid. Um, and a bit, you know, you need, you need to have a bit of a drift because you need to cover ground. Otherwise, you're working your lines all the time. So that's what I'm doing. And what I do is I do I'll just do this here. I let it go back out. Do a couple couple of flicks like that and let it just sink back down and usually when it's sinking down that's where the squid grabs it so hey I got a GoPro alrighty hey, hey I got a GoPro <laughs> I've got, got a big dog here I hope you can see that well, anyway yeah uh, this thing just took line <laughs> oh my god I've just come out here just to get away for a couple of hours beautiful day a little bit of rain but you know that's just a little bit of rain you get wet on a jet ski anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I just came out for a couple of hours and uh, I don't have any squid in the uh, fridge, freezer, whatever. So I'm uh, squidding and I just happened to get one. So it's pretty awesome. Actually, uh, I better mark that spot. Mark, yes. Fighting squid. Here it comes. That's a big squid. I can't get it in without it coming in shit. It's not cheap, it's 30 bucks, but seems like they're working. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, squid for dinner. Yum yum. Alright, I'll 
we'll uh, wait until the next one. Hopefully not too long. <laughs> so what I'll do next, I'm just gonna go up as fast as see if there's a pod there. No way there. Let's go over there. Go over there. And I'll just show you um, my technique that I use to sweep, which is nothing. Um, you know, amazing. It's just what I do. So um, I usually fish with hand lines on boats, but uh, other jet skis are just sort of limited to the room and you got line everywhere, shit everywhere, so it's like nah. So anyway, I'll, I'll just show you what I do and then that way there, I have some idea of how I catch my squid. Hopefully it helps you. And um, get some dinner. Yeah. All I'm gonna do is I just, I just get this one over here. I'll just, just throw a short one, like a little teaser. So it just goes out about, about two or three meters, it's about eight meters deep here. So, um, it's pretty pretty safe at the moment because the wind's just picked up. Let that sink a little bit. Um, just so that it can um, get to the right level. So this one here sits around about about halfway um, to three quarters away in depth, so about six meters and eight meters of water, something like that. Just off the bottom. Leave the drag um, quite loose, but not too loose. So that way there, when the squid happens to take it, it doesn't just spool all your line and stuff. So that's what I've done for that one. And this one, I work. So I throw this out more or less as far as I can. So I'll show you that. So I get this one, this is the orange one. Okay. That one there, and I throw it as far as I can. Depending on if it's a rough day or windy day, I'll only throw, I'll, I'll let it sink right next to the jet ski, you know? Right next to the jet ski, so that way there, um, it'll get to the bottom, it's really the squid, that's what you need, so, um, yeah. So that's that one. So I'm throwing it out, letting it sink down. Um, the jigs I'm using are four grams. Um, you need them here, because it's, it's always bloody windy. So, and I fish between eight and 20 meters of water for squid. Um, if it's a bright day, I usually go deeper. If it's a, um, like a day like today, it's overcast, which is perfect for squid. Um, and a bit, you know, you need, you need to have a bit of a drift, because you need to cover ground. Otherwise, you're working your lines all the time. So that's what I'm doing, and what I do is I do, I'll just do this here. I let it go back out, do a couple of, couple of flicks like that, and let it just sink back down. And usually, when it's sinking down, that's when the squid grabs it, so, yeah. Just like that, let the line go down. Let it go back down to where it comes from. And sometimes it's windy like it is now. I want I want the little dog to go to the bottom. So, let it sink, give it a bit more line. Like so. And then I give it a few little plugs like that. And let it sink again. And when it sinks back down, that's when, like I said, it seems to, um, the squid seem to grab it then, you know? So, so that's that one, so that one sink. This one here, this one here is just doing the motion of the ocean method. So, because I'm moving the jet ski like this, the fish is moving, you know, with, like uh, pulling the, the lines, pulling the squid jig. And um, so that's just the teaser one over that side. So I've got two in there. Sometimes I've got two at a time. And that's a bit of mayhem, but <laughs> it's uh, a bit of fun, you know. So if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. It's just one of those things. So I'll do this one more drift uh, over near where I've got these squid. If I don't get anything else, I'll just move across a bit more and um, see how we go. So hopefully I'll get a couple more because I've got people coming out for dinner tonight. So two is going to be okay, but I won't cut it. It'll just be a taste, but it's going to be fresh. And also there's some fresh fish for them, which I can't eat. So. So squid I can eat, so it's awesome. So that's what I'm gonna get stuck in tonight while my guests are gonna have fresh fish, which we just caught the other day. So yum yum for everyone, you know? So it's gonna be a great night. Another little tip, um, guys, is that what I do is when I'm retrieving, because okay, I'll just throw this out just for an example. So the, the jig's in the water, right? I don't know if it's even not, anyway, the jig's in the water. And so it's been sitting down there. And just that, that sudden movement of that jig moving um, after it hasn't moved. So I'm always, so when the jig's coming in, I'm always watching that jig because quite often 
you'll see a squid chasing it. And that's when you drop back down, you've got the interest of the squid, so then it comes back out, because sometimes just bobbing up and down doesn't do it. You know, you just, you've got, you've got a dead fish trying to make it look alive. So, so as I'm reeling it in, I'm watching the jig coming in, because quite often you'll see a squid coming out for it because we've actually moved it. Um, yeah, and it's, it's caught the uh, squid's attention and it just, just hasn't had the time to come and grab it. So, um, if you, you know, I just sort of like watch for that because quite often I see the squid come up and then I just uh, drop it back down and quite often you get the squid. So that's just another little something to help you guys out. Catch some cephalopods, squid, calamari, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, just another little tip. Doing tips today, yeah, tips. Yeah. All right, so I just didn't do much chop there, so I'm gonna move location. I got a squid. <laughs> wow, it's been a long time. Whoa. See, it's not very big, but it's a squid. Nevertheless. Hang on a minute. Get out. Here you go. Little squid. The yucky slime. All right. It's the next one. And again, <laughs> ah, I love squid fishing. Here it comes. Oh, it's a bit bigger this one. Far around, but around. Need to come back. Uh, should have just pulled him on. Bloody net. Anyway, learn it by the hard way. Oh well guys, I'm uh, gonna. Uh, I gotta go because it's getting late. So, but I've got a few squid for dinner, and uh, I'm just gonna pack up, head back. It's about another 10 minutes home, so it's a very quick one today. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, share it around, give us a thumbs up if you like, and also hit the bell so then. When our next episode comes out, which is generally Sundays, um, you'll know it's out, but uh, sometimes, you know, time varies depending on when we get it out, but generally Sunday mornings. So yeah, so uh, thanks again, guys. Take care, stay safe, and see you next time.